we have a small mass m that is connected to this pulley by a thread and the mass of the pulley is given to us so it is not a massless pulley this pulley has mass so as this mass m will go down the pulley is going to rotate along and we need to find the time dependence of angular velocity and kinetic energy of the whole system so because we have to think about the system we can treat this tension as an internal force and therefore we can stick this mass m to this point here so that's what we have done here so we will stick small mass m here to get alpha so once we get the value of alpha then we can use that alpha in the original situation which is this to get values of tension acceleration of my of m etc so the acceleration of m for example will be alpha times r and tension also we can get that is mg minus t will be m into alpha r so that's how we can get the tension and the acceleration of mass later but for now let's just calculate alpha by sticking this mass to the side of the pulley so now the force which is going to rotate this pulley is mg and that's going to rotate the whole system so now we have to include the moment of inertia of this small mass m also to the pulley so let's start so torque about o is i alpha so we need to calculate alpha and torque is mgr is equal to i about o will now be mr square by 2 for the pulley plus small m r square of the mass m times alpha so simplifies this uh, gives alpha is equal to mgr by i not so let's say that this whole term is i o that is i about o so omega will be alpha t because this term is a constant so omega is alpha t which gives our answer so we need we just need to put the value of i not here but otherwise this is our answer and now ke for the whole system is again half i not into omega square so omega which we found we'll put here and i not will get cancelled and we'll get our answer so this uh, approach we are going to use whenever we have a mass which is hanging by a thread at the end of a pulley so we can always just replace that mass to to the pulley itself and get immediate alpha and we know what will whatever that immediate alpha will be that's going to remain afterwards also so once we get the value of initial alpha so in the original situation that alpha is going to be remain the that alpha is going to remain even when this mass m slides down so what initial alpha we got we can that put in the original situation to get the other values so we are going to use this approach in next many problems so it will be much clearer to you when we will repeatedly use this approach all right